Hello and welcome to class. Today we'll be looking at adding new field and calculating geometry. So still on this, our admin boundaries of Taraba State, we're still going to be using this. So if you have any shapefile, like I said in previous video, you can download any shapefile of any country from Diva GIS. All right, so you go to the download and then you can download their administrative boundaries, all right? So um, I cannot share this with you because it's uh, a government official property, so you only be watching it. All right, so you right click and you go to attribute table. So let's expand it. So we want to add new field. Uh, there's actually area here, but we want to add new field so that we will be sure whether this uh, address is correct. All right, but then few things that you need to note is to check what coordinate system is your um, data. So we'll go to source, right click, go to property and go to source. So we have it on WGS 1984, UTM zone 32, yes, this will do. So if your, if your data isn't in projected coordinate system, you won't be able to calculate area. So that's one thing you need to take note of before you start. So we're going to click on this table option here. And options will be display. So we're going to go down to add field. So on this field, we're just going to say area. So, and then we're going to put float. Okay, so we say, okay. So new field has been calculated. Since we say we are calculating new field and we are, we are, we are adding new field and we are also generating geometry. Geometry is actually what we're interested in. So you right click at the edge here, you right click. First you click left click to make everything selected. So you come up and right click here and you come down, come down to calculate geometry. Now you say you're about to do calculate outside of an edit session. This method is faster than calculating an edit session. But there's no way to undo your result once the calculation begins. Do you wish to continue? I'm saying don't want it, don't want me again. I'm saying yes. Now, if your coordinate system isn't in projected, you won't be able to calculate area. You will find out that the choice of area or coordinate is uh, actually going to be disabled, all right? So I'm going to calculate the area in um, in hectares, yes. So click OK. So you see that your area has been calculated. So, but we do not have the X and Y, that's the coordinate of this field, even though the coordinate are, but they are in like an invisible mode right now. So we're going to add two more fields to add field and then this, we're going to name it uh, Easting and we're going to leave it at float and OK. Then we'll calculate, uh, we'll create new one, add new field and we say Northern. My R isn't working so I'm not going to add the, the O. So I'm just going to leave it like this and float. So OK. So now once you left click here and then you right click, go to calculate geometry, we're going to say X. So your X is the Eastern, right? So we we'll click, okay. See that our X has been generated. We click, left click, then right click, calculate geometry, and we say it's Y. So we'll click, okay. So you can see that our X and Y have been generated. So we can also calculate this in uh, a matter of decimal degrees. So let's calculate this so you can just change from this to, oh, we can calculate it in decimal degrees, but yeah, meter is okay. Where is the meter now? Oh, this is showing a, yeah, that's why. X, uh -huh. but in uh -huh, decimal degrees, we can calculate it in decimal, decimal degrees. So if I click, you will see that it has, this is now our, latitude and this will now be our longitude 
or x now will be our longitude so i'll go to decimal degrees and i'll click ok so you can see that oh did i still calculate oh i calculated x twice i think so that's what i did so i'm going to calculate x okay and then this will now be y so this will be y and it will be decimal degrees yes so we can see basically this is how to add few and also calculate geometry so this takes us to the end of this uh, class i will see you in the next class stay tuned